What's up boys and girls, C. Lopez back once again with another tutorialism and today I'm going to take a quick look at some of the new features in FabFilters Pro Q3. So I'm not going to be doing an in-depth review, I'm just going to be looking at some of the new features that are particularly interesting to me. So those are things like the new Dynamic EQ feature and the ability to analyse different tracks and spot troublesome EQ areas that you might want to fix. I'm also going to be taking a look at the Match EQ feature. So I've got this drum loop going here and I'm thinking I'm going to want to replace the kick drum with my own kick drum. So what I'm going to do is put an instance of FabFilter Pro Q3 on both the drum loop and on the kick drum channel. And if I open up the EQ on the drum loop and click down here on Analyzer, you can see I can cross-reference that against the analyzer of the kick drum. And this little red area here is showing us where the frequencies are clashing. So I'm just going to place a node here. And I'm going to turn this into a dynamic EQ by clicking on the outer circle. And you can see now it's compressing that frequency range every time that frequency hits. We can change the Q to get a bit more clinical. And also the slope down to 96 dB per octave. We can click on this headphone icon so we can just isolate the frequency that we're working on. And let's make it a little bit less drastic before we bring the kick drum back in. And now we can hear that kick drum's working a lot better over the top of that drum loop now. Okay, now let's use that analyzer, see if we can separate the bass a little bit from the kick drum. So again, put the Pro Q on the bass channel, and let's reference it against the kick drum and look at the problem frequencies. And we can see once again, we're getting this kind of red shaded area to show where there might be some problem areas. Really nice GUI on this, very easy to use. Let's pull down the bass a little bit where the kick drum's hidden. And give it a little bit of a boost right next door to where the kick drum's hidden. And let's go back to the kick channel and let's see if we can make some changes in the opposite direction. So let's just pull this down a bit where the bass is making its biggest impact. I'm going to use the dynamic EQ again on this. Awesome. So simple to use this, so intuitive. Really liking it. This is my first time using it. I never actually use Pro Q2, so yeah, this is just a demo version, but I think I'm probably going to get this one. So next up, I'm going to look at the Match EQ feature. So I've got a reference track muted out there because I don't want to get done for copyright. And I'm going to put a Pro Q3 on the reference track channel.
and I'm going to put a Pro Q3 on my master channel as well. I'm going to select the side chain and the side chain input is going to be coming from my reference track. And I'm going to click on Match EQ and select the external side chain. So I'm going to unmute my reference track so I can feed it into the Pro Q on the master channel. I'm going to mute this, like I say, just so I don't get done for copyright. Just let it analyze it for a little bit. And then I'm going to click on match. And you can see now it's given an overlay of where it thinks I should make EQ changes to make my track more sonically similar to the reference track. And we can change how complex that is by using this slider. So let's just bang it all the way up just for the uh, purpose of the video. And let's have a listen to that. Okay, so that's quite extreme, so I'm going to select all of the nodes and just reduce them all down just a little bit. As obviously making my track a little bit quieter, so I'm just going to add a little bit of makeup gain using the output level there. And let's have a listen. And yeah, we can hear even using it subtly like this, it is making quite a nice little difference here. I mean, obviously this isn't a replacement for mastering, but it is a nice little guide, a nice little touch to have in there. Uh, definitely impressed by that. Right, short and sweet, but yeah, that's a, a first look at Pro Q3 by Fab Filter. Definitely impressed by what I've seen. Very, very easy to use, uh, very intuitive. I've not read the instructions or anything like that. It is just so easy to pick up and go. So enjoy. See Lopez Tutorialism. Peace.